Hello, my name is Peter Parfit and welcome to the New Brit Workshop. Something absolutely completely different today. I'm going to show you a little gadget which I've just bought. I bought it from Amazon and this is an endoscope. It consists of a little camera at this end, a very long piece of fibre optic cable which then links it to a bit of electronic gubbins and this has got a, a little transmitter in it which then interacts with a smartphone. Now it's made by a company called Depths Tech and I bought this from Amazon. I paid the full price and right now it will vary in price depending which day you look at it but it's between 50 and 60 pounds. Now I'll give you a quick demonstration that explains what an endoscope is uh, and then I'll go into some detail. First of all I'm going to turn the device on and when I turn this one on it sets up a little Wi-Fi area around it and that allows me to then go to my smartphone and I can go to settings and I look for the Wi-Fi which is associated with this and it calls itself Depths Tech something or other and I select that as my Wi-Fi. I've done that. And the next thing to do is to go back and I've got the, the Depths Tech app for this particular device on my phone and I'm going to select that, sit done and I go into the application and I'll record this so you can see what's going on. I'll press the record button. I'm now recording this on my phone. You can see my phone on the bench there, see my guide rail there and I think over here you'll see the camera somewhere. Now obviously whichever way this is up is the way <laughs> that you're going to see things and there's a picture of me. <laughs> right okay so camera at this end, a sending gadget at this end and then there's uh, over four meters of fiber optic cable that links the two so you can put this camera bit almost wherever you like. But please remember this is not a medical device. Now these are the accessories that come with it in the package. Uh, on the end of the lens there's a little thread protector and that's a spare one because I think that's the sort of size of something that might get lost. Uh, there's a gadget which screws onto the end of the lens. It's got a magnet on it so you can see what's going on just about and uh, there's a magnet to catch something which is obviously uh, magnetic. Uh, there's another one that screws on which has got a hook on the end and that's quite useful because not everything is magnetic. And there's this little gadget here. It looks very much like one of those things you get with an iPhone to remove the SIM card. It's to do a reset. I couldn't find anything in the instructions but in the very end of this just here there's a little small hole for doing a reset if something goes wrong. If you look at this end where the lens is uh, this is a thread protector on the end and you unscrew that, being careful not to drop it. That then reveals the thread uh, which allows you to then fit those accessories. Now whilst I've got this up close, if you look at the side here you can see uh, there's a little mirror arrangement and you can not only get a picture which is for the lens looking this way but there's a little mirror there and you can get a view which is at right angles. Now that is really useful if you're poking this through a hole and what you want to look at is something directly below and of course you can't always uh, bend this round. So, and you can get that as a dual view or as just a view from the mirrored side. I'm recording this and I hope you can see both screens now. There's the one which is front on and here's the one which is side on. And the resolution I've got this set up is 1920 by 720 which works very well. Now not so very long ago I dropped a special washer and it went somewhere under underneath my bench. I actually did retrieve it but I've put it back there now so I can demonstrate the sort of thing that this can do. So I'm going to fit the magnet now and in order, in order to do that I unscrew a little end piece which is here. I'm now going to fit the magnet there in place and that just screws on. If I go back now to the, the bench and I'm going to record what I see again. So that's now recording 
and I'm going under here and I'm looking for the washer there it is I think that's it and you may be able to see now it's been attracted by the magnet and there it is so that was that gadget I'm now going to swap the magnetic gadget for the hook here's the hook going on and it goes on very easily it's quite a nice nice thread so not not a difficult thread so I've got the the camera looking at the hook and now I'm going to place something else under there which I can then demonstrate being hooked out I'll start the recording so you see what that looks like and I'm going to look for a little something oh, I did see it then there it is that's what I'm after it's that brush and there's the brush I'll just go past it and around and then behind it and there it is I actually had it caught underneath there and it came out but at least I was able uh, to find it on the side here is a brightness control and I'll demonstrate this I'll take a little video now and I'll show it looking at that and I'll change the brightness and perhaps you can see that's just using the natural light in the room probably easier for me to demonstrate the use of the brightness control if I put this inside a box like that and I'll change the brightness and you probably see that I'm changing the brightness there so that means that um, if you need to you can control uh, the lighting from the gadget here now the accessories pack away into a handy little tube like this and go all those bits and pieces and then on goes the cap so that keeps those safe the only thing they don't include in the package is some sort of container to put it in uh, when it's not in use uh, you could put it back in the box or you could find yourself I don't know a little Tupperware container uh, now the actual coil of fiber optic cable this yellow stuff uh, can be kept tidy they do supply uh, these little cable tie straps things and uh, these are fairly easy to attach there's one I'll just put the other one over here and there's the other so that will keep that safe now I don't know how long the battery lasts uh, when I was doing an investigation into the house where I was looking into a void which is on the down ground floor of the house to see if I could put some wires through there I had this switched on for over half an hour uh, and it, it was fine if anything was an issue it was probably the battery on my mobile phone so rechargeable uh, USB to recharge it and it works on Wi-Fi this one works to an iPhone now some uh, only work with iPhones some only work with Android devices some only work with a PC so when you choose the one you're going to buy make sure you get the one that fits the gadget that you want to view it on now I actually bought this so I could look inside a void in the house to see if I could get a, a, a cable through it and here's a quick view of what I did so the void I've got is roughly here and I've drilled a hole into it very carefully I did check that I wasn't going to hit any of the wires that might be coming up from this socket right so I've turned it on I've gone to the app and I've chosen the uh, Wi-Fi for the depth deck and now I've got a picture of the gadget I'm now going to set this on to the dual mode and I shall set this to record so I've now set this on the dual mode so you can see my hand there and my hand here and I'm going to now put this into the hole through the hole and there you can see and there you see cables that come down and I'll turn this round now and they go off to the left and around and down and out through the far side 
and I now know that I can put cables through this void with no problem at all. Now, as an update, all the time I've been doing all of the filming for this gadget, uh, I've not recharged it. So I reckon I've probably had it switched on for probably close to an hour now with no problem at all. Well, well that's the Depstech uh, endoscope that I bought from Amazon. The only uh, downside is the instructions are not written in particularly good English, but I had no problem getting the thing set up. I'm sure you won't either. Now, it was interesting, on Amazon, when I uh, was about to buy this, I did look at reviews. There were over 700 of them. Um, I actually thought that that was uh, a bit fishy, uh, but uh, I must tell you that this thing works brilliantly, so I've got no doubt that the majority of those reviews were absolutely genuine. It's a good, good little gadget. But do be careful that you buy the right one, the one that suits your uh, gadget, whether it's your iPhone, an Android phone, or PC, uh, Windows, or Apple, or whatever. So that's it. Not a bad little gadget. Many thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>